Hey everybody, it's Austin. We are out at Roaring River State Park, right off the river. It's super pretty, but we have an issue. We don't have any electricity and we require some electricity to be pampered. So what we have is the Jackery that is plugged into the side of the camper through the solar charging unit, but we don't have solar. So we had to figure out how we were gonna adapt our camper to use that. So let me show you what we came up with. So we set up the Jackery 500 and we have the solar system plugged into it, our Jackery 100 panel plugged into it. And we are putting in 53 watts here in pretty much direct sunlight. Well, it's a little overcast and we are putting out 36 watts to charge the camper. And you can see it's just plugged in here and we have the cord leading down to our solar panel that is facing the sun right here at 420. And you can see it's not direct sun, it's it's a little bit cloudy. So that is the highest solar output that we have gotten so far. But we're gonna see if we can increase our percentage at all while dumping power into the camper. So I'll update you guys in a little while. It's 420 now and we'll see how much charge the camper can get. All right, so we've got the Jackery hooked up to the alligator clips on the solar panel. And I had some requests to see how much or what um, power this pushes into the camper. So we have this on, it's putting in 28 watts. So now we're gonna go inside the camper and see what that shows on our voltmeter. Good morning, and it's time for some morning coffee while Duke waits for his mama to get back. And we're using the little Jackery 500 to heat up our water with our little portable collapsible water heater and our collapsible pour over container. So you just set this on top of your cup, put your coffee grounds in it, heat up your water, and pour it in. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some water in here and see how many watts this baby pulls. It says it should be 700, which this can handle a startup surge of around there. So we'll see if it can handle this collapsible water heater. All right, so we've got it filled up with 20 ounces of water. Turn on the AC button and flip this puppy on. Let's see how many watts it says it's pulling. 53% at 8.22. Man, that's a lot of watts. Holy smokes. We'll see if the Jackery stays on. 660 on a 500 watt inverter. Let's see if it works. It's already dropped 1%. Goodness. All right, well, let's go ahead and get our coffee grounds put into our pour over. I think we're gonna do about three tablespoons per cup. We'll see if that's about right. It looked like it shut off. So we didn't have enough power. Let's try it again. See if we can get this water hot. Hopefully it works. We need our coffee. Let's see a little prayer for us. Well, it got up to 700 watts and it shut off again. It's pretty warm though, so we'll see if we can keep it going. Hopefully we don't hurt the jackery. All right, so we got the water boiling and we're gonna go ahead and start our pour over. Set the coffee on top. Unplug our little water heater. Try not to burn ourselves.
gonna let it sit for a little bit and just continue to drain. You can see it's draining into the mug. And then we're gonna have nice hot coffee when we're all done. Super easy. Awesome that these all collapse for easy travel. And the Jackery hung on and did it. Pretty fun.